which is still fine with me. I can cuff them up if I wanted to. <laughs> this sounds so erotic. <laughs> I'm just talking about jeans. <laughs> Welcome back to the Three Thrifty Chicks. And if you haven't been keeping up with us lately, this is also the third installment of our shopping haul when we all went shopping together at Value Village and Style Encore a couple of weeks ago. First part, we had Kat show all of y'all her casual, a little bit dressier, everyday outfits, along with some really cute boots that retail would be about how much I spent on groceries. And then for the second part, Meg went onto Pinterest and she found some outfits that she was inspired by to start forming her style around. She used some really unique to her items and killed it. <laughs> and now for the third part, it is me. And folks, I am so excited to tell you that I finally got Pants. <laughs> I knew that with all of us going to Value Village, I would finally have access to a plethora of pants. Of course, we couldn't show you what we were doing in there, but uh, the pants section took up half the store alone, and that's including men's and women's, right? Yeah, I, I had to take advantage of that. So I went into Value Village going, yep, this is the day, this is the time I am going to get some pants. I need them. <laughs> and I actually found some items. Woo! I found four pairs of pants. The change rooms weren't open, so I did the little, you know, waist trick just to see if, like, there's any chance it would be closer to fitting me. They all matched up, but in the end, I've got to accommodate my body type, which is, even though I do have a smaller waist, my thighs and my butt are bigger compared to the smaller waist. So getting the pants up sometimes doesn't happen, but if they were to get up all the way, they would fit me, but I can't just eat. <laughs> so with that being said, out of the pants that I got, only two of them ended up working out for me, but don't worry, no, 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 don't worry, because uh, I actually just gave the other two pair of pants to my partner because they fit her body type better. So that worked out for her and for me and I will show you the ones that I got. So my first pair that I had success with are these black gap jeans. They are a straight leg cut, darker wash denim. They're, they're black, but still that kind of faded, worn looking kind of black, so it's not just straight, one color, flattening you out kind of thing. And um, they are a little bit cropped on me, but you know what, that's fine. Your girl's never afraid of a little bit of ankle. I'm used to it. And it, it often comes with, uh, if you're not getting specifically tailored jeans where they're like, ooh yeah, 27 waist, 34 length, then I'm expecting them to be cropped on me. So these ones are 27 waist, which... They're like, oh, probably someone petite and shorter than 5'9 is where I'm wearing these. And um, that's not my case. So they're shorter on me, but I still like how they look. I can also roll them up just a little bit, uh, give them a nice little cuff if I feel the need. And yeah, I've been wearing these every day. They're comfy enough to uh, make me like pants, as well as flexible enough that I can wear them at work for eight hours, squatting, moving around a bunch, and I'm not uncomfortable. So winners, winner, winner, winners. The next pair I got from Value Village. Okay, so I mostly I mostly picked these ones out because the the tag said Calvin Klein and um, they're Calvin Klein. <laughs> these are basically PJ pants but jeans, and I'm not talking like you know um, jeggings where they're just like oh yeah you know they're leggings but they look like jeans so they're comfy. No no no, these ones are jeans but they are so soft, so comfortable, so flexible that I feel like I'm just wearing leggings or PJ pants and it's great. They got pockets, they got everything I so desire in a pant. Um, now these ones are a de like definitely like a dark gray wash. They are not completely skinny as they do not cling onto my ankle. I can roll up the bottom of these if I want and uh, then they'll be, then they'll be cropped. But they are 32 length, so finally my ankles can hide in, in peace and in comfort. So both of those jeans 
fantastic, comfortable, really lucked out with those. And on top of that, they're about seven to ten dollars each, so. So when I went to Style Encore to look at their pants, I already had, what, like four pairs of pants in my haul and I was like, okay, well, this is starting to feel a little bit excessive. So I didn't really shop the pants at Style Encore. I just stuck to uh, filling up our little, our little shopping bag. They had a sale going on at the time that you could use a plastic bag that they provided for you. Fill it with items that were only clearance and you could take home that whole bag for only $25, no matter what the retail price for the single items were. So I decided to focus on that instead and grab some more tops, including this um, turtleneck. I, I don't need more turtlenecks, you're right. You're right, I don't because uh, I, I have enough, but now I have a black basic one that I can just jazz up however I want to. And no, don't ask me what I'm gonna do when it starts being spring and summer. I, I only like, <laughs> I only want to wear turtlenecks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. At Style Encore, I didn't get any more pants there, but instead I'll show you some secondhand pants that I had given to me by my dear friend, Alex. She was going through her closet and uh, immediately thought of me and I was like, thank you. And um, yeah, she, Graciously gave me some really nice, barely used designer brand pants, and I will show you those now. Uh, so the first ones I have are the, the these green military style pants. I didn't wear baggy pants until I tried these on, and I was like, oh, this is it. This is what I've been missing. Is uh, you know what? They are a little bit more masculine to me, and I'm. I'm loving it. I'm wearing it with this outfit right now. You'll see. And um, yeah, they've got really deep pockets. They go all the way down to my ankle, wider leg. And yeah, you, as you can see, you can kind of dress this up into a um, like light academia, or you could what, like throw on a hoodie with these and go like completely streetwear. So I'm excited to explore the versatility of these pants, and I have a lot so far, and I really like them, so I've been wearing these ones a lot. The next pair that she gave me were just some, um, yeah, some pretty rad ripped jeans. They are this uh, dark gray once again, but uh, definitely a thicker jean material than the Calvin Klein ones, and they've got the, this tasteful amount of rips, you know, I'm just like, ooh. You can see my whole knee, you're welcome. And then at the back leg, it's got a little bit right under the butt. So just classing it up in here. Um, they are a little bit shorter on me, but once again, just a casual pant, so not a problem there. Uh, the only problem that there is there, however, is where the rip lands on my knee. It's uh, like right above my kneecap. So if I bend down or go down on my knees and try to get back up again, it like catches on my kneecap <laughs> and, and you know that that thing moves <laughs> so I just have to be a little bit more careful when I kneel in these pants which is like whatever I've done more for pants that fit me less better you know we all make sacrifices when it comes to fashion <laughs> and then lastly these super cute I, I haven't owned khaki pants since oh I don't know elementary school when was it yeah, you know, like you get little khaki shorts in elementary, like they're little cuffed at the at the bottom, and then you know, they're so cute. Uh, Old Navy. I just think of Old Navy when I think of khaki. Is that only me? No. These khaki pants are cropped to the nines, so yeah, they look much shorter on me than they probably should. But you've got this weird mix of like formal dress it up khaki pant, then it goes completely casual with the, I like to call it the racing stripes on the side. Just cause, you know, it looks like a finish line. Right? Right? <laughs> and um, yeah, so like, the, I've been styling this with hoodies, I've been styling it with my like, Slav 80s jacket windbreaker thing that I got a little while back from the store here in Cochrane. Yeah, they're, they're super cool, super rad. The only thing that I thought was weird about them was just like the button. It's just got this regular like, like pea coat button on top of these like really 
more like, like oh, these more alternative bit of style kind of pants. And I just thought like, oh, why don't you just like put a cool button? I could put a cool button. Never mind. Complaint provoked. Now we're gonna rewind, rewind a little bit because I'm gonna talk about what else I got at Value Village. I found shoes. Yeah. And I'm so happy about it. I've been wearing these beat up vans and they have holes in them. With the winter time, the snow was like getting it through the bottom of them. I'm embarrassed to admit, but like, you know, buying new shoes, it's a lot of money. And I haven't tried thrifting them before, but I had success this round. I was looking for some casual sneakers, some dress shoes. I was hoping there would be some Doc Martens there, but that's. That those are slim chances. But what I did find instead were uh, some shoes that I now wear like every day. I found to start off these Adidas shoes. They are, they're endorsed by Stan Smith. I, I had to look that up while I was in the store. Um, so I was like, sports who? Oh, but it turns out he's just like a tennis player. Just a tennis player, kind of like he won awards, you know? Like, no, no big deal. And I got them for 17. That's the least I've ever paid for a pair of shoes that were that high of quality. <laughs> but yeah, I've been wearing these every day for work. But they're a little bit more casual, but they kind of start like giving me that boss mom look where, you know, she's just like, oh, blazer, but sneakers, so cute. Which is just like, you know, it's fine. I'll, I'll emanate that, uh, that energy. I'll bring that with me where I go. <laughs> I just took a little white eraser to these when I first got them and they looked brand new. They still look fairly new and they were hardly worn when I got them. So steal of a deal, super comfy, and I'm now an Adidas fan. I, that, that's it, that's all it took. Some really cheap shoes that uh, fit my style. The next pair of shoes that I got, so for Doc Martens, I, I like their standards, you know, military style boot and I also love their like chunky little um their little lace ups <laughs> and you know, I definitely couldn't find any of those there but I found something that might just work as well. It's these men's dress shoes shiny like real leather listen to that they're hard like they've hardly been worn um, the soles look a little bit worn, which, uh, like, like, the person obviously wore them, but, like, jeez, they're still, like, brand spanking new. The only problem I had with these was just, like, for work, they're too slippy, because they have the, they have the leather soles, so that is not the best, but aesthetic-wise, like, these will be great for, like, styling up an outfit for sure, and, um, yeah, I love the the vibes that these ones give off because they're similar to that kind of Doc Martin chunkier chunkier uh, heel with um, a more dressed up kind of pattern on the top of it, all the leather work. So, so I have enjoyed those ones immensely and I wear that when I want to just spice up the outfit a little bit, make it a bit more dressy or just have it completely casual and then like business on the bottom. And the last pair of shoes I got were these boots. They are, I don't think they're real leather, but um, they've got like a really like tactical sole on them. So like, I don't know, I guess I could go hiking in these. And there's a fur lining. Look at that. Look at that. And uh, yeah, the, the heel adds like another two inches to my height. So these are like go out statement. Everyone look at me because I'm freaking tall now boots. But um, yeah, that's when I feel like make my outfit a little bit more badass and still be warm and with grip on my sole. <laughs> for the last pair of shoes, yes, I got four pairs of shoes total. These ones were from Style Encore. And yeah, I I've been looking for loafers. I love the loafer style because it's just like in between that masculine and feminine, you know, everybody can wear them kind of deal. And this particular pair was so unique that like I had to get it. I, I tried them on, I was just like, yes. <laughs> and um, they are from Zara, actually. And dude, hardly worn, look at that. Um, yeah, so they got this little shoelace effect on the top and then all the, 
the tassely ruffle things that I can't remember the name of, and then studs all around it. But at the very back, these cute pearl accents that just make it even more unique and like the design is somehow all coherent even though like they've all got their own thing going on and yeah i i love these i love the material of them i uh i can't wear them for too long yet i'm still working them in i have to with all my shoes because my feet are a little bit wider so yeah they're, they're still just a little bit too tight on me but you know i'm just wearing them around the house getting them warmed up and uh Try not to kill my feet with blisters, but yeah, I've got a cute little loafer style now. I'm just like, oh, I'm a part of the club. And that's it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked what you saw, because I like trying it all on and seeing all the stuff I got again and just being like, mm-hmm. Ah, it's so nice to have pants. <laughs> this is a super fun thing that me and my mom and sister got up to, and um, just to show you what our local malls can be is like really fun and you don't have to spend a lot of, a lot of money to get a lot of nice clothes. Um, in fact, you can just have some good friends and not spend anything at all. <laughs> That's all I've got for you guys today. If you liked this video, leave a like. If you want to subscribe, just do it. It's not gonna, there's nothing, there's nothing to it. You just press the button, leave it at that. You're good, you're golden. And um, if that's not good enough for you, you can hit the notification bell. And then you'll know exactly when our videos come out every thrifty Thursday. Leave a comment if there was a particular uh, piece of clothing that you were wowed by. I'm feeling super accomplished. So hype me up in the comments if you feel the same way. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the week. I'll miss ya. I'll see you around next time. And bye.